This is Robert Waterman for Tungsten Tales. We're at day six of the qualification tournament for the UK Open at Butlins. Um, Gary, how's it been going? It's been going all right, you know. This is the last day, and thank you for that, you know, because I think everyone's dead on their feet. Uh, yesterday was a good run, but Sunday, it's well documented, Sunday's my home day. So it's get home as soon as possible on a Sunday. Well, you're through to the uh, finals that take place at Butlins in Minehead on the 7th of March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I think, a couple of weeks, isn't it? Yeah, so it's uh, Glasgow this weekend, Exeter next weekend, through to Minehead, yeah. So it's, yeah, looking forward to it. Look. I, um, as I've been getting to know darts myself and be beginning to become a more avid fan, I didn't realise how much travelling was involved with being a top darts player. I mean, we follow you at the Premier League, we're here at Wigan, in between, you've been to Veldhoven in Holland. This is almost a mad life. As it's, it's really hard. I mean, the, like you say, the travelling, uh, I think I've had about three days home in the last five weeks. You know, it's, it, it, it catches up with you after a while. So, like I say, we get back tonight, have a couple of days at home, and then start again on Wednesday. But having said that, from the uh, World Championships in 2000, at the end of 2013, beginning of 2014, and this year, you seem to have your appetite back, and you seem to be playing great again, and sort of on the way back to the top. Yeah, yeah, they're really starting to enjoy it. I mean, my body's kind of struggling a bit. You know, it's aches and pains, but. Mental-wise, I'm, I'm actually loving it, you know, and it's been a long time since I've enjoyed the darts. I've not said that just because I won yesterday, but even Holland uh, Holland got beat, but I stayed across there and watched the darts, you know, a couple of extra days practice. So that's, that's, that's a big difference in my, my darts this year. And realistically, where do you think you can be by the end of the year? I will try getting back into the top ten. You know, I've got nothing to defend for the next two years, so it shouldn't really stop me, you know. My game's coming back, I'm over the moon the way I'm playing. So it's, uh, yeah, head on, knuckle down and see what we can do. Now, we've just found out uh, that you're managed by Tommy Gilmore, more well known for being a boxing manager and promoter. How did that all come about? When I first signed up with the PDC, you know, as uh, Barry says, I've got a boy wanting to introduce you to and it was, it was Tommy and since day one me and Tommy's gotten like house on fire you know keeps me on my toes thank god he's not got me trying to lose some weight it'd have me in the ring you know but uh, yeah Tommy's he's a great lad I mean he's, he's, he's also got Adam Hunt and Michael Smith as well you know so it, he enjoys it he stays away doesn't he pester us you know and he, he'll phone once a week say we're getting on and it's as it's it's more a friendship than a, a management thing with Tommy it's interesting because uh, looking at Tommy we know Jess Harding's got a few players, also from a boxing background. Maybe there's a trend of uh, boxing people coming into the, the sport of dart. Yeah, it is, you know, and Barry, Barry's got his boxing as well, you know. So, yeah, just as long as they don't make us train like boxers, we'll be OK. Well, I don't know. I've seen some of the goings on. It's not that dissimilar. I like being a fat. <laughs> like, I'm 43, I like being fat, so I'm too old to start working out at my age. That's, uh, yeah, but uh, it, is, it is a hard life. I mean, the young lads are great because they're all fit in that, but in 20 odd years' time when they're still playing, what they're going to be like, you know, it's, it will catch up on them. I mean, looking at darts, we've got kids here 17 years old trying to qualify. We've got people well into their 40s, even a bit older. W what is the peak age, do you think, now for a darts player? I think my age, 43. I think that's me, Dan. <laughs> no, eh, I don't know. You've got Phil Taylor still going. You know, Bob Anderson still plays. John Lowe. You know, so I don't know. I think as, as long as you can see and walk, I think that's that's it. Until you can't see, eh, I think that's it. But I think, nah, you, could, you can play well into... 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever. So your ambition this year is to, if possible, to get back to the top 10. And next year? Oh, one year at a time, come on. That was Robert Ward from Tanks and Tales. That was Gary Anderson. Thanks. Cheers, Rob.